weapons. The new Puma Infantry Fighting Vehicle was jointly developed by Krauss Mafi Wegman and Rhine Metal in Germany to replace the aging Martyr 1 IFVs. This new infantry fighting vehicle successfully passed numerous trials and tests. First production Puma IFVs were delivered to the German Army in 2015. About 350 of these machines will be delivered. Initially, it was planned to purchase 405 new IFVs. However, later this number was reduced due to limited funding. Currently, it is the largest German Army procurement program. The Puma will gradually replace the Martyr IFV. The Puma is the most protected IFV currently available. It has a welded armor hull with add-on modular armor. It has an option of three various protection levels to suit operational needs. Weight of the vehicle vary from 29.4 to 43 tons according to the protection level. The base model has a front and flank protection against 30 mm rounds, while vehicle has an all-round protection against 14.5 mm machine gun fire. The most protected variant can be considered as a heavy IFV. Additional armor modules can be fitted, increasing Puma's weight to 43 tons. Furthermore, in this configuration, it is even heavier than the T-72 main battle tank. It seems that the most protected variant of the Puma withstands 120 and 125 mm projectiles over the front arc. Vehicle also withstands mine blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. The Puma IFV also features an advanced threat warning system. NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems are fitted as standard. Vehicle is armed with a remotely operated weapon station. It includes a dual-fed Mauser 30mm cannon. This cannon is already used in the Austrian Olin and Spanish Pizarro IFVs. It has an effective range of fire of 3 kilometers. The Puma was armed with an ATGW launcher. However, its type is still unknown. Secondary armament consists of a 5.56mm machine gun and a 76mm grenade launcher for a close-range defense. The Puma Infantry Fighting Vehicle has a crew of three, while it can accommodate up to eight infantrymen in the rear compartment. Passengers enter and leave the vehicle via rear power-operated ramp. Vehicle is fitted with an air conditioning. Vehicle is powered by MTU-892 turbocharged diesel engine developing a whooping 1,073 horsepower. It is worth mentioning that some of the latest main battle tanks haven't got that much power. This IFV is not amphibious. Length 7.6 meters, width 3.9 meters up armored, height 3.6 meters, speed 70 kilometers an hour, unit cost $7 million. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.